Uh, I'm Dan Kovac from uh, basically from Melbourne area here. I was born in Hollywood, Florida, so I'm a Floridian. And um, I um, have been, you know, I have some significant changes in my life from uh, overweight to trying to be more fit. And so in the past four years, I've lost like 50 pounds and uh, tried to get in shape and keep it that way. So exercise is a part of my daily life. And um, so uh, I also do ballroom dancing and um, we've been doing that for four years. So uh, it's, a, it's a very good part of our lives right now. Um, as you can tell, I'm married with a single child. Um, and in, in dancing, you know, form is important. And so form in terms of styling, you know, you're using your hands as, as an expression. So I, I noticed that my hand, uh, my middle finger, uh, was not uh, having its full uh, degrees of motion. So um, it started, it was getting worse over years, but you know, it happened so slowly with, you know, it's called von Dupuytren's contracture. And um, so it happens slowly, you don't pay attention and then gets to a point where it's like, what the heck is wrong here? <laughs> so um, in my case, uh, so I started phone book and started looking around and uh, I just tried uh, Dr. Moyle's office and uh, they're wonderful. I like, you know, the whole staff and everybody was great, um, you know, working with the insurance and stuff. And the crossroads that I had to choose was basically you do surgery or you, you try uh, a new technique of uh, chemical injection into the site. And because uh, von Dupuytren's, uh, or Dupuytren's contracture, it, um, when you do a, a surgery, it has a potential of recurrence. So, you know, we were worried about having not only scarring and a long recovery period on my right hand, um, but then just having it come back again wasn't really a good choice. So uh, Dr. Moyles uh, suggested uh, this, uh, I forget the name of the stuff, but uh, you know, and I said, well, um, I had full faith in him and I said, well, we'll try it. And uh, the first injection didn't work at all. <laughs> I was like, well, I don't feel any pain. I don't feel anything. So it didn't, and it, but you know, it didn't seem to work. And um, so we uh, elected to try another uh, another session, and that that worked. It was amazing. I really didn't pursue much of it because it was kind of not really uh, a big bother. Um, but as as the finger, you know, the angle was pretty much like this. So as you're showering. You're kind of like hitting things that you don't want to hit. That that became annoying, and then um, it's just that uh, I saw the thickening in my in my hand, and uh, it just uh, wasn't looking great either. Wonderful person. I mean, um, really, the whole office. Uh, what I really um, I find it important uh, in doctors' offices these days. It seems like they never seem to get you on time. And, um, you know, I'm an engineer and I'm on a busy schedule and I, when I make time and I try to be on time. And so, um, you know, this, this is wonderful because I, I came here and they saw me within 10 minutes of, uh, of me coming in and I thought, wow, that's great. And then, um, you know, but it's the office, the staff, um, you know, he, uh, Elena is, fabulous. She was, made me feel comfortable. And, um, you know, that's important to me. And so, um, you know, we, um, we, I could talk freely and didn't feel like I was, you know, in a, in a, like a doctor's office. <laughs> so I think, uh, I think it's that personal relationship where he took a lot of time to listen to um, why it bothered me and what he felt was the right treatment. And, um, at times, uh, I did ask him, you know, because I'm a technical guy, I said, well, you know, maybe we need to do a, a scan of it to see why the first time it didn't work. And uh, he listened, and he, and he, and he did.
did do some tests to, to check to see uh, what was going on. So he had a really good picture of my hand, and so when we went to further uh, treat it, uh, he was right on the exact spot. <laughs>